The first cell phone was invented fifty years ago this week. The man who built that phone, Martin Cooper, is now ninety-four years old. Cooper, who has been called the father of the cell phone, has been speaking with the media as he looks back at his efforts to create a device that greatly changed our world. In the early 1970s, Cooper worked for American technology company Motorola. At the time, Motorola and other manufacturers were attempting to create wireless phones that could work in vehicles and also be carried. There was intense competition between Motorola. Bell Labs and AT and T to build the first truly portable phone. The technology used to create the first cell phone is known as cellular. This technology uses many small interconnected transmitters that give off wireless signals and connect cell phones to the internet. Cooper made the first public call from a handheld portable telephone in New York City on April third, nineteen seventy-three. The device, called Dynatac, weighed about one kilogram and was twenty-eight centimeters long. He developed the phone with his team at Motorola over a period of five months. The first model permitted about twenty-five minutes of talk time. Cooper noted that such a talk time was not a problem, since this phone was so heavy you couldn't hold it up for twenty-five minutes. Speaking about that moment to the Associated Press, Cooper said, "The only thing that I was worried about is this thing going to work." And it did. Cooper admitted that at the time we had no way of knowing this was a historic moment. While Cooper is pleased that his invention has opened up a series of technological possibilities for cell phone users, he thinks many people are just too obsessed with their devices. I am devastated when I see somebody crossing the street and looking at their cell phone. They are out of their minds," Cooper told the AP. But after a few people get run over by cars, they'll figure it out," he joked. Today, Cooper uses a late model iPhone. He likes that the phone permits him to do numerous things, such as read emails, watch YouTube, and control his hearing aid devices. But mostly, he says he uses the phone just to talk to people. Cooper said the modern progress of cell phones is sure to continue long into the future. He predicts phones will develop to the point of being able to be distributed on your body, with sensors measuring your health at all times. Cooper said batteries could even be replaced by human energy. You ingest food, you create energy. Why not have this receiver for your ear embedded under your skin, powered by your body? He imagined, but the cell phone inventor has also expressed worries about how the device has created serious risks for users, especially in the area of privacy. My most negative opinion is we don't have any privacy anymore because everything about us is now recorded someplace," Cooper said. But he noted he is hopeful that cell phones will continue to progress in ways that can greatly help humanity. Each generation is going to be smarter, 
They will learn how to use the cell phone more effectively, Cooper said. Humans, sooner or later, figure it out. I'm Brian Lynn. Thank you.